Okay, so what about Duke? You just gonna forget about him? You got our orders. Look, man, what if it was one of your guys? What if it was Scarlet or Breaker? What would you do then? Looks pretty remote. Might be a good location for a base. Snow. That leaves us with what? A third of the Earth? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, is that McCullen's shadow? What you got? Spherical trigonometry. I must have missed that class. If you know the height of the object, the length of the shadow, and the time and the date that the image was captured, you can figure out its location. That's why I missed that class. All right, Breaker, give it to me. What we got? OK, McCullen is 180 centimeters tall. His shadow is 46 centimeters. This image has decayed 6%, which means it's 51 hours and 17 minutes old. That's at the polar ice cap. Heavy. Yep. What do you say, sir? I said you've been ordered back to the pit. But I didn't say when, and I didn't say which route to take. Maybe a northern one. Thousands of miles across and ten stories thick. Locating McCullen's base will be like finding a needle in a coal mine. Haystack. Oh, right. Haystack in a coal mine. the weapons case. I set my scanner to look out for the tracking beacon in case he came back home. And he just came back home. That's my boy. Three left. Take the warheads to the missiles. I want them ready to launch in one hour. It will be done. My beautiful lady of the lake. I bother you. It's funny, isn't it, eh? With the entire balance of power in the world about to shift, two guys can still have a stare down over who gets the girl. I'm going to make you very unhappy. I'm already unhappy. Get up. Video from the Akma Cam is coming online now. Bloody hell. They've built a military base under the polar ice cap. The perfect location. Nearly undetectable, easily defensible. Duke's gotta be in there somewhere. And the warheads. 
We have to find a quiet way to get inside. Elevator cables. They've got a surface entrance. Guys, there's something else. Going to sonar view. They've got tunnels running through the ice pack. Hey, look. They've got their own attack subs. Okay, what's that? Missile tubes. Must be for the nanomite warheads. Take us up. I'll create a distraction from outside, keep them busy, while you lot infiltrate the facility from above. We'll find Duke. Grab the warheads. Kill all the bad guys. As you all know, Team Alpha is under direct orders to return to their respective national bases. But I have something I need to do which goes against all orders. So if any of you decide that you have to leave now, I will certainly not hold it against you. Okay, then. What are you going to do with the warheads? Oh, you take to your training well. That's good. Still trying to develop intel. So you won't mind telling me. Isn't it obvious? I'm a businessman. I'm going to use them. Millions of people are going to die if you launch those warheads. So what is it that you want? To strike fear into the hearts of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Then they'll turn to the person with the most power. You? No, not me. You're not seeing the whole picture. Then tell me. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Ah, uh, guests. Meet the genius behind all my nanotechnology. Genius? You are too kind. As you can see, we are loading my nanomite warheads into the high-V missiles. Once at maximum velocity, Mach 5, not even the Joes have the technology to catch them. So who's this? Another recruit? Albeit a rather unwilling one. I'll prepare him for the procedure. Teams, listen up. This is General Hawk. The mission is a go. I say again, the mission is a go. Good luck, Joes.